I know, I, I really wanted to start this video with closing my Mac like that on my table. I think that looked really awesome. But anyway, let's jump directly to the beginning of this video. Today I will be alone speaking about, uh, you know, like it's written on the title, some really nice apps that you could really use during your trip in Paris. Some of those apps could literally like help you a lot around uh, Paris. First of all, I wanted to say that for the people that doesn't know us yet uh, with Christina, which is not here on this video, we are going back to travel in a few months. And if you want to see our next adventure, just subscribe to our channel. Don't uh, miss out uh, the, the next uh, trip that we're gonna have in a few months. Let's uh, dive right now on the first app that you're gonna need for your trip here. Well, the first app uh, that you should have on your phone, it's of course Maps.me. You maybe already know this one, but it's really useful. If you don't have a SIM card during your few days in Paris or even your week in Paris, because it can be a bit pricey, you can just download the map offline and you will have it for the next day or, you know, whenever you leave your Airbnb or your hotel. And you can just wander around in Paris and see exactly where you are, and even with the plane mode. So that's really useful. We used it with Christina all over the world, in each country, and that was amazing. But maybe you will have a SIM card and that it's even better. The second app is really a French one, a Parisian one. It's called Ile de France Mobilité, all right? So you can check right here. It's amazing because if you come here you can see exactly the itinerary you have to take you can see if the line are blocked or the error is blocked if you need to go to Walt Disney or on somewhere around Paris you can see the delay on the line and everything and even the itinerary between a point A and a point B even with this app if you are here for a long time and you are using a past Navigo you can even recharge it with your phone the metro in Paris is really old. We still have tickets that are gonna disappear really soon. So if you want to bring a nice memories to home, I think you should keep one of those little tickets because soon you won't see them anymore. The third app, you also maybe know it, but it's Tree Count. That's amazing. If you are going on a trip with your friends, you know, and you are always like, oh my God, you owe me that. No, I paid that yesterday. Oh my God, no, because I swear you gave me back 20 euros. We don't like this kind of moment, right? If you just use it, you put few names, the number of how much you are, guys, and you just put who spend what, and the app is like doing the whole calcul by itself, and every day you say, Roma pay that, Christina pay that, you pay that, and at the end you will have the amount of who on how much to who. And that's pretty, pretty smart app. That will save you a lot of fights between you and your friends, right? This one is pretty amazing, right? It's called Chateau La Pompe, right? And if you go there and you just zoom a bit on Paris, this app will show you all of the free rattle spots that you got in the city. If you are lucky enough, you can even find some sparkling water free points. There is few of them in the capital, but that's the game. You have to find them, right? Guys, this one, this one is probably the best app. It's called Mr. Good Beer. Everything is in the title, right? If you are in a district, you are a bit in a budget and you want to save some money and go out and have some fun and drink some pint, well, this app is made for you guys. You just open it. This app will show you the price of the beer around you and the happy hour and how much the beer is during the happy hour and how much the beer is after. I know, that that's pretty amazing. And, and even me, I, I know I have my place where I oftenly go, but sometimes I'm in the district that I'm not used to, so I'm just like, all right, all right, let's go to this one. And that's, I think it's amazing. And it doesn't work on in Paris. You can use it everywhere in France. This one are for the foodies. Of course, you are in Paris and we all know that while you are here, you want to enjoy some good restaurant because Paris equal good food, right? This app, uh, before called La Fourchette, was bought a few years ago by American people, I think, and now it's called The Fork, which is a translation of La Fourchette in English. And this app will allow you and show you all of the best deal you can have and all the restaurants that are partner 
of this app so you can have deal until like minus 50% on some really good restaurant. With Christina, we tried some uh, Italian, French, even like Japanese restaurant and you can have really good deal. It's really nice place to eat in Paris. Believe me, that's really, really a good plan. Keep that in mind and don't think that it's only shitty restaurant. There is some really nice address in this app. So go have a look. We all have those little uh, scooter that you can rent everywhere in Paris. There is a lot of brand, but uh, if you use Lime, you can use them on the Herba app. You can easily use one of those little uh, Lime bike or Lime scooter in Paris. And, and you can just wander around in Paris. So of course, that's really useful. And please, if you use one of those scooters, really be careful on the bike line in Paris uh, because there is accident absolutely every day. I saw so many of them. Uh, so just uh, be careful. Don't try to ride and you know be on your phone and do a story. It's exactly how the accident is happening. So keep that in mind, please. This one is for the people that are maybe staying a bit more than a few days because I know you will go to the restaurant. But for the other one that are on a tiny budget, uh, you can use Phoenix or Too Good To Go. Uh, those apps are working with uh, bakery, markets, you know, like Franprix. You will see Franprix absolutely everywhere if you come to Paris. What it does is they actually take the food that is gonna die in like the next or next next days so they resell it to you for a tiny price that's really nice we take some with christina sometime and uh, you can discover some product and have a really good deal on food that's really uh, interesting but the thing is really cool it, you can even go to japanese restaurant uh, around like 10 or 11 o'clock and they will uh, sell you some sushi for lower price. If you are sleeping on an Airbnb and you are not planning on going to the restaurant every day and every lunch, that can be uh, pretty interesting to you. If you are not into using Uber, you can just download the app called J7. This is the company that work in Paris. So if you don't want to take an Uber, you just take your phone and you can like Uber. You can order a taxi and it will just come and pick you up. Of course, speaking to somebody we speak only French can be pretty complicated. I mean, I do speak English. A lot of French people doesn't, especially old people, you know. So if you feel a bit lost trying to make yourself understand, you can always use Google Translate. That always saves my life when I'm in front of someone that doesn't speak a word of English. Download this app and order a nice baguette. And okay, I, I'm gonna finish this video by uh, kind of two app in one. If you are here for a while and you want to plan your trip somewhere else than Paris, if you want to go visit Lyon, Toulouse, Aix-en-Provence, Marseille or Lille, you can download the app called SNCF, Société Nationale des Chemins de Fer Français. That will show you all the time of the train and the price. You should also download the app called WeGo because we go are the cheap train. But sometime in the SNCF app, they doesn't show the WeGo train. So download the two of them and always check both of them. I hope all of those apps will be soon on your phone because that will mean that you are in Paris ready to visit this amazing city. I hope that uh, we helped you making this trip a bit more comfortable for you, saving money, good tips and uh, the most enjoyable possible. So keep in mind that we are going back to travel really soon and we want you in our back with us. I see you next time and bye guys.